um, reporting uh, on the work that is done on Saturday, uh, June 16, 2001. We finished cleaning of Space 158, and uh, and then we finished photography from the air, uh, from the ground, and we uh, are in the process of drawing it. Uh, there are not big surprises here on this in, in 158. After we cleaned it, we actually can see the same situation as we had seen before. We finished cleaning, which is number of our features here in the corner in the south and the white floor. The, the old cut in here that comes from uh, the floors above is still visible. And what's more visible is this cut here, you have which is the cut that was killed with the rubble and most likely made in relation to the pillar of which was 64, which was removed from here. Now we are working on uh, removing this, the, the end part of the floors of this platform, which is supporting the wall. And then we'll deal with which wall on this side in 158 is contemporary with the wall in 86. And then we have the round feature in here, uh, which is sealed with a little uh, lid. And our, uh, our clay balls and then a big oven. Um, one thing that we did in addition to the previous day is uh, we cleaned completely the feature 635, which is our early, your early west wall. And we can see now how the plaster from the floor went up the, up the wall. And we can also see, if you come closer, Jason, that the plaster in this part of the floor goes down and creates a, a channel-like, a receptacle-like feature in the floor, and then the plaster goes up on this end. So that seems pretty curious, and we'll see what it is once we dig out the wall and clean that area. In the, if you come, Jason, to this side, in the cut that, uh, of the features of 50, we can see that under this floor, which is a yellow floor as opposed to the white floor, which we have on, in the rest of feature 158, we don't have any white floor. We cannot see at least any white floor. What we can see is another oven, remains of another oven, earlier one, that was most likely right here in the place where the later feature 750 was cut, so it cut through the oven and disturbed the remains of it. So we can just see the, the, some of the remains of it. Um, so we can imagine that the earlier oven was right here and then in roughly the same place, but just closer to the edge of 150, this visible oven was. So what is characteristic generally for, for Space 158 is that the, the, uh, roughly, the not roughly, but almost in, uh, exactly one half of the space was covered with white floor. That is from the center south, because we see that the white floor goes all the way to this corner feature in the south, and all the way to here. Most likely it went all the way to the wall, but we just didn't have it preserved in that very south part. And then from the oven, to the north, what we have is the yellow brownish clay floor, which we had in this part of the space uh, until we removed that floor last year at the end of the excavation. So the, the floor that is contemporary with this floor around the oven, the floor in this area would have been, was the same as this floor where the oven is. So exactly one half, the northern half, looks like dirty floors, and the southern half looks like clean floors, which is unusual because we would have expected it to be the other way around, the northern half to be clean and white floors, and the southern half 
uh, to be dirty floors, which would be typical for the pattern that Mela talks about, and, and would be more suitable for the pattern that we have in the house, which is the north is more clean and white, and the south is actually kitchen and dirty floors. So we have totally reversed situation in 158. It's just to tell us that uh, there are no pattern, patterns <laughs> at Chatterfield. Uh, then, that's that. Then, um, one more thing. Jason, you have to, again, look from that side into this area. What else is visible now that the, the 158 is clean is that most likely this oven originally, the edge would have been somewhere on this line between this uh, uh, top and that. So the, um, the edge, the eastern edge of the oven and the mouth part would have been up to here where my hand is showing, but it was disturb disturbed and destroyed by the later remodeling of the house when the screen wall was introduced here. And so we can see the elements of the screen wall now, after we have removed it, we still have some of the elements of it. One is the cut, as I pointed out. Another one is the uh, post hole here, which will be cleaned. Um, then we had another post hole in this area. We need to clean that a little bit, but we haven't because if we start cleaning that, this stuff is going to start collapsing in it. And then we have a, a post hole, or rather plank, a, a, an area where a large plank was inserted. And then we had another one here, and then a post hole or plank, post hole rather, in this area because we have even the shaping of the packing around the post hole visible in that place. So that's a whole series of structural elements that go with the, that went with the screen uh, walls. And, um, and of course the, the, then the, the pillar that was the northern pillar, the southern pillar had been removed last year and it was where the cut is down there in uh, 8112, but the northern pillar was right in this place, using uh, the structural elements of the, er of the earlier feature that was a round or roundish form, and was set up on this floor, earlier floor, and was cut into the ed into the corner of the big white platform, feature 162. I think that's enough for 158. And um, now to just report on the rest of the work that took place. 158, uh, we, we, I talked a little bit more uh, in detail about because from now on, as soon as we finish drawing, everything will start removing the features that I talk, talked about and we'll start going deeper down on another floor because we can see already in our cuts that exist there that we have another uh, white and a thick white clay floor down below. Um, in terms of phasing, the floor that we see in 158 uh, most likely is our D floor, is our major uh, and the earliest phase of the D floor in that area. Uh, we will uh, confirm that by the time, or we will cancel that by the time we get on the lower um, white floor that I have mentioned, which is below. And um, then we did some work in here in uh, the kitchen area, trying to clean out some of the uh, more some of the cuts and looking. And, and now we are beginning to the removal of the. Um, Parts which are sitting on top of 169, and we began that with the removing of the edge, uh, later edge of the platform, which is the eastern edge. And in that edge, you have to come this way, Jason, to film this. In this edge, what we can see, we can see the bottoms of the series of the hearts, which slip go like that and then goes, go up, and then there was another one which is not anymore so clear, but we can see how far down they go. And we can see that they sit exactly on the earlier, in this case, in this case, on the earlier 
oven floors or hearths in the same area. So this kitchen area uh, was used so intensively for cooking that it is, uh, it's amazing. Um, okay, so then in the corner, southeast corner, we have our uh, platform feature 167 that we have been gradually removing the earlier floors from. And what is now obvious is if you stay there, it will be good. What is obvious now is something that we couldn't see before, that what was a, a flat and even sur top surface of this oven it was just the late, the very late uh, uh, form of the oven. The earlier form, uh, not oven, sorry, the, of the platform. The earlier forms of the platform were totally different. And this is it. We can see here a series of floors. So we didn't have really a proper platform. What we had, we had a, a basin-like feature that was narrow and long in this very corner. And then it, it went up here and on top of this platform-like or, or bench-like, another feature that was basically separating this area from the kitchen area. And, and this part of it was very, uh, as it is visible, very much destroyed. Um, very unusual in terms of its packing. And it's really... Um, it's really unusual, I mean, this whole feature. It looks uh, a bit um, uh, messy because we have so many cuts. We have some original Neolithic cuts in it, which is this cut, a big cut here. The rest of it is just the way we are excavating it in order to do a proper sampling to see the, uh, what is the, the, the feel of the packing of it. But when we clean that out properly this side, it will be even more obvious how unusual the feature is, especially when one takes into account the fact that there were big cut, original cuts in here and another one over there. It is, it's got to do something with this whole floor line of the kitchen that goes east-west like that and then turns around here and then goes up. Uh, actually up this way, and it was in line with the edge and with this whole wall, little wall um, rim or, or whatever it is. Okay, I think I'm done. I have covered this pretty detail, so now Ruth will tell you about the rest of what has been done in this. Okay, on um, platform. Feature 170, here we finished taking off the upper um, floors of the phase C. We took them all out as one, one group. They're very thin um, with occupation, four occupation lines on top of them. And we're looking to see if there's any kind of um, any kind of break in the, in the plaster or any kind of lid material. It's hard to tell. I can't really tell. Um, I call for certain, although we'll now we photographed it and we'll draw it, and it's possible that still this break here is significant. Uh, we can see it as a kind of um, very weak area in the floor plaster, and um, possibly something down here as well. So we're going to we'll have to wait now until we can go lower, probably, to investigate that. We can't go lower there until we've gone lower on this platform. This is feature 173 here, and um, it has been at the top of the uh, floor, at the top of the phase C at the moment. Um, I mean, can you just move? So, yeah. so um, what we did yesterday was to remove a, a very thin bench of the um, final floor of uh, what's called floor number six, um, final floor of phase D, which was had been left last year, um, right up against and going underneath um, this platform next to it, which is platform uh, feature 162. So um, anyway, this, this um, 
part of the face of this part of platform 170 actually goes over this platform one oh shit wrong. cut that this part of feature 173 actually goes over this um, platform 170 and has been so we can't actually get to the rest of this or take it down until this has been removed. However, if you come here, Jason, <coughs> if you come, actually, come over and stand there. Um, when we remove this bench, we um, actually could see this uh, patch this along here of this material, this funny, gritty, soapy, but plaster material that actually includes matrix that includes plaster fragments that is typical of burial lid and we're pretty sure that this line here actually is a lid of a burial that's been dug from the top of this floor which is floor seven the top of phase c and you can see very nicely in this profile that this platform goes underneath the this phase of, of um, this platform one feature 162 so feature 173 um, has been overlain by the floor D, the, the D phase of platform 162. Actually, it's been overlain by it even in, in the um, earliest phase of phase D here of 173. And this burial continues underneath platform 162. And actually, we can see the legs of it sticking out of this eastern wall of the burial pit here. Uh, I think you've already photographed that, so anyway, just want to tell that. So we can't actually do anything about that until we've taken away platform feature 162. So the whole thing depends on, on that. And we can't take away this feature 162 until we've removed the burial and the wall. But you can see, yesterday we had a little drama with the um, red wall, it fell out and um, actually fell into the into the pit here, the burial pit, but they've cleaned it up, nothing was damaged luckily, and now we have a big chunk waiting to as a sample of the red wall, brick where well, the red 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 painted brick wall. Okay that's it. Should probably add that the basket down there was preserved yesterday as well as some bones and um, I mean preserved. I think I'm only disturbing this part of the sky. Okay.